Several Texas school districts have enacted reviews of materials able, available to students after complaints have been filed. Many of the most targeted books contain sexual content, LGBTQ plus characters and themes and discussions about systemic racism. And as books are banned in school libraries, one business owner wants the community to have access to them. KXAN's Kelsey Thompson has more on this business owner's mission. Well, Britt, their philosophy is not to challenge these titles, but to have more people read them and have conversations about those themes and topics discussed. That was the focus of this past weekend's Banned Bookmobiles in Bastrop, hosted by local bookstore The Painted Porch and the e-book company Scribd. Thousands of free books were passed out at the event, and the Painted Porch's co-owner, Ryan Holiday, told me that when it comes to reading, he wants people to engage with tough topics and think critically about these issues. Our kids being exposed to new ideas in books is a really good problem to have. I'd much rather be having to explain something unusual or challenging or uncomfortable, even explicit, than have the opposite problem, which is that my kid isn't interested in books at all, right, or doesn't know how to read. And he said it's important to note that these aren't just children's books being challenged. Last year, the state-run Bullock's Texas State History Museum canceled a promotional event for Forget the Alamo due to pushback. And, you know, I'm curious, Kelsey, are any books very popular with people or any sought out the most, maybe? You know, Britt, while they had a wide variety of different books and genres available for customers, he did say that Fahrenheit 451 was the most popular this weekend. So despite the book being nearly 70 years old, they said this topic is still clearly resonating with readers. Kelsey, thanks for your report. And to read more about the Van Bookmobile, just head over to KXAN.com and click on this story.